Welcome back everyone to the Shots Fired Podcast product review. Today we want to thank Core Essentials for sending this duty belt for a product review. Billy, you've been testing this for a while, right? Yeah, I've had it uh, for about two weeks now and I've been using it every day. Stick around so you can hear Billy's pros and cons about this belt and hear if we think this belt is worth investing in. You might be surprised. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the Core Essentials Battle Belt, uh, duty belt, basically. Um, Core Essentials was uh, nice enough to provide us with a couple of different products. This is one of them to test and review. So basically going through it, when, we, when I got it in the mail, it came in a box with the inner belt here and the belt. Obviously, none of the pouches or anything was on it, but since I've uh, been using it, I set it all up the way that I like it. This is by no means the way it needs to be set up. This is just uh, my personal preference on setting it up. So coming in, everything comes a little bit uh, long. I'm fairly certain it's one size only, and you'll cut it down to your size, and that includes the inner belt. So first thing that I did is I sized the inner belt and it came long and it comes with these little, this little tab at the end here. I don't know if you can see that that well, but basically you size it to yourself. It comes with a tape measure, like a, just a, um, like a tape with uh, numbers on it for your belt size uh, that, that help you to do it. But with this, all you have to do is put it around you, hold it where you are, mark it, and then cut it. And once you cut it, you take this and it, it basically is just a piece of metal and it, it uh, presses on there to, uh, I, I believe, help with the fraying and makes it easier to go through your, your belt loops. This is very sturdy, very strong. I don't know if you can see it's It's hard to show, but it's, it's a thick belt. It's very, very strong and stiff, which I'll get to a little bit later about that. Now going to the actual belt that they send us, they, this comes in the package also, and you'll use the same tape to measure it and cut it. So obviously you're not gonna mess with this end. This end is the uh, ratchet side. It comes with this, this will come off of it. This comes completely off and I have it on there and you'll cut it down to your desired size and basically this slides on, it's got two Allen bolts in there. You tighten them on and you uh, press this down to also keep it on and it's, it's on there. It's, it's not coming off once you do that. You'll have to undo the, the little Allen screws to get it off. But um, it, is, it is adjustable again. Obviously you can't add to it. You can cut more off if you happen to lose weight and uh, I'll show you why I cut it the way that I did and, and, and why I cut it to the length that I did. So first of all, we'll go to cutting it. I cut it basically as, kept it as long as I could keep it. My theory is, is this is a very nice belt and it's not super expensive, but it's not super cheap. It's not something that you wanna buy every year necessarily. So if you are like me that, that might be changing in weight, um, I wanted to be able to uh, have the most adjustment and like I said, you can't add to it, but you can always cut it down. I basically made it as long as I can and I wear it at about that level right there. Now we'll stick, we'll stay to the buckle side here. So the buckle here basically has these kind of like a, like a ratchet strap or I don't know how else to explain it, but it uh, goes in there and each step it locks. So you can hear it, it locks and it won't come out. You know, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And it goes all the way down. And then to release it, it's just this little tab right here. I like it that the tab is on the inside and it pulls out so that if you are in a situation where maybe you're, you're in a fight with somebody and it does accidentally get hit, it's less likely that it's gonna, gonna come off. And even if it does, another reason that I like the length that I left it longer is even if it does loosen up, it, it's, it's a lot of pull to get it to come all the way off. Um, so moving on to what I really, really love about this belt is actually the style. I love the style, first of all. I'm, I like the Moly belts. It's what I've, I've used for a while. Been something that has very, been very 
conducive to what I do and given me a lot of adjustments. Uh, the next thing that I really, really love about it is this Velcro. This Velcro is very, very strong. So once you put it on your inner belt, and I can show you right here, and I'll show you in another video, is it is, it is on there. It is super strong. You don't need keepers. You don't need anything like that. So Velcro is super strong, super sturdy. The other thing is this belt is a is another. It's a stiff belt, very strong, very well built. I don't know if we can zoom in or if we have it on other things. Is you can look at the the threading. It's big, big thread. It's nothing cheap, nothing that's going to fall apart. Everything on this is just sturdy and it's built to last. And I think that essentially you could run this belt for an entire career without it falling apart. You might need to adjust it over the years, bigger, smaller, that's uh, depending on how it goes. Uh, one thing, small thing that um, wasn't, it's not necessarily a con, but it is my preference, is I have another inner belt that I've used for a long time and I tried this one out and I went back to my old inner belt. The only reason is, is I do a lot of stuff where I'm not wearing a belt and I didn't like the stiffness of this. I, and it's just what I've been used to over the years. My belt that I wear now is essentially the same thing, but it's not thick. Um, it just works better for me. Uh, not necessarily good, bad, or indifferent on that. The other thing that um, I would say that wasn't my favorite thing about this, but I get why it has to happen. It, it's just, it's not a flaw, it's not anything, it's just the, the way it's physics, I guess, we could go to, is that this, when it goes through, I couldn't use this area of the belt. I couldn't put um, like mole things on there just cause it wouldn't, it'd have to stop right there. So I zip tied it on and basically made it work. So that's just because I like things up front. And essentially I could have put this right here and had not had the issue at all, but I like having things there. So I, I as most of you uh, know, I use this on a fugitive team and I basically wear plain clothes with a tack vest. So this is my setup right now. That doesn't mean that, again, like I said, this is the way to set it up or you can't set up it different ways or put other things on it. The back is completely available to put uh, pouches or whatever you want on it. I keep my back empty. And um, as far as limitations of putting things on the belt, like I said, the only limitation that I found, and it's not really a limitation, you just have to adjust it a little bit, is putting something right up front on uh, the left side. Overall, I think it is a great belt. Coming in at just under $150, which, like I said, is not the cheapest belt, but it's not the most expensive belt out there by any means. I think it is a great product, and when you talk about something that you will potentially have for the rest of your career, I think it's well worth the money, and I would suggest getting it. So I'd like to thank Core again for uh, giving us the opportunity to test this belt out. And I will say that this is my honest opinion. They're not, they're not paying us or, or anything like that. We're, we're not getting anything extra from it. It's just uh, an honest review of what I think. Um, if you would like to get a belt, this belt or another product from Core, just click the link below. Um, check them out. They have all kinds of different belts. It's not necessarily a duty belt only thing. They have everyday belts and range belts as well as this. I, I believe this is their only duty style belt. So go check out their website. If you like a product, purchase it. And uh, thanks for tuning into our show.